is Mike and today's video I've got an interesting dream to share from um, I'm not sure if it was from a boy or girl called Erin who had this dream on Tuesday the 26th of May 2020 this is a dream about the 144,000 and their training um, and it's quite a detailed dream so it might be a multi-parter to do quite a lot of this um, I'll start with some scriptures Psalms 144 verse 1 praise be to the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Revelation 13, 7, it was given power to wage war against God's holy people, in other translations, the saints, and to conquer them, and it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. So uh, this is the start of the dream. Uh, this is what he said. Dear Father, thank you for another day. Thank you for your love. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for my family. Thank you for... Nest of friends, thank you for these dreams. The dream I had last night was incredibly clear. What it was unusual is that the Lord wants me to start writing this dream down immediately. This is so unusual. I really feel that this will be a dream that will really stand out. Well, here it goes. This is a dream that Aaron had. Um, there were eight of us at a base camp at the foot of a massive mountain. The base camp was in an area consistent of red dirt. Even though it seemed to be a high desert type region, there was very few trees. The base camp consisted of a structure that was similar to a small a salt box type dwelling with wood walls and a metal roof. While it seemed warm outside, inside the dwelling itself was cool. Due to the warm weather outside, we were all dressed according in lighter clothing. The base camp had an instructor. He was training us to climb this massive mountain. The mountain was where we would see God. The preparations began on the evening of a certain Friday Instructions were then completed in eight days plus the final day. In other words, this went from Friday evening to the evening of the second Sunday. We would go a bit further in our training each day. We were all younger in health and strength. It seemed as if all of us were very new to this. So we were all at the same level of skill set. On the first full day, we prayed and offered up all that we had brought with us. Some brought more than others in preparation for what they thought was next. Our instructor was not of our earth, but was in a human form. Our instructor was clearly an angel in God's army. In our group, we had five young men and three young women. Our instructor had us place all that we had brought with us to the center of the room. We had all brought items we were certain we would need for the journey. We brought items for climbing the massive mountain before us. We had backpacks with mats, canteens, food, flashlights and other practical items. Some of the things I saw others brought, brought a smile to my face. I then wondered why I hadn't thought of bringing that. The pile was now about seven feet tall and about five feet high for the eight of us. The instructor seemed happy with us. The instructor said, congratulations on your preparedness and thoughtfulness. Please close your eyes now. We all did as instructed. Father, please remove anything contrary to what you would require of your recruits. Even though our eyes were closed, we all saw a flash of light. Okay, you may open your eyes. When we opened our eyes, the pile of our stuff was completely gone. It had vanished. We looked at each other in bewilderment. The instructor smiled at our reaction. The instructor said, God has spoken. We are to take nothing on the journey up to his mountain. Your loads to carry will be light. I will take you further each day, and then we will return here to rest. You are to follow my instructions. God has appointed me to your group. I looked around the base of the mountain and was in shock at what I saw. Around this mountain, there were thousands of training camps, each consistent of eight people plus two heavenly instructors. Someone in our group of eight looked worried about not having enough provisions and the angel instructor became very serious. The instructor said, do not worry. What you bring with you is all that you'll need. Uh, and I'll carry on in the part two. God bless.